Welcome to my video on the product rule. In this video, we're going to talk about how to take the derivative using the product rule. And we're also going to talk about how to take the derivative of log functions and how to take the derivative of E. And if you need any extra help, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. So check out my website at mathmeeting.com if you are interested. But let's get started right away with this example. So here we have to take the derivative of the function e to the 3x multiplied by the natural log of x squared minus 5. And the first thing I want to talk about is why we need to use the product rule. And the simple answer to this question is we have a product. We have two things being multiplied with each other. And notice how e to the 3x is being multiplied by the natural log of x squared minus 5. So this is why we have to use the product rule. And we're going to label these two things, the first and the second. So we'll label the e to the 3x, our first thing being multiplied, and the natural log of x squared minus 5, the second thing being multiplied. And once we do this, we can use the product rule formula to take the derivative of this function. And the formula for the derivative using the product rule is equal to the first thing multiplied by the derivative of the second, plus the derivative of the first multiplied by the second. And now the only thing we need to do is plug in our first thing of e to the 3x everywhere we see the word first, and we need to plug in our second thing, the natural log of x squared minus 5, everywhere we see the word second. All right, so now that we have plugged everything into our formula, the only thing we have to do is simplify this as much as possible. So let's start on the left and simplify the derivative of the natural log of x squared minus 5. And if you're not familiar with taking the derivative of a natural log, uh, the idea is really simple. The only thing we have to do is create a fraction, and in the bottom of the fraction we'll put the inside of the parentheses of x squared minus 5, and in the top of the fraction we're going to take the derivative of the inside of the parentheses of x squared minus 5. All right, so the derivative of the parentheses x squared minus 5 is just equal to 2x. So in the, in, the, in the top of our fraction, we'll have 2x, and in the bottom of the fraction, we'll have x squared minus 5. So we have officially taken the derivative of our natural log, 2x over x squared minus 5. All right, so now let's move over to the right and simplify the derivative of e to the 3x. And if you're not familiar with taking the derivative of e functions, uh, the idea is also really simple. Uh, the derivative of any e function is just itself multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. So the derivative of e to the 3x is just equal to e to the 3x multiplied by the derivative of the exponent 3x. All right, and the derivative of 3x is just equal to 3. So the derivative of e to the 3x is just equal to 3 times e to the 3x. All right, so now we have taken the derivative of our natural log, and we've taken the derivative of our e, and the derivative of our original function now looks like e to the 3x multiplied times 2x over x squared minus 5, plus 3e to the 3x multiplied times the natural log of x squared minus 5. And notice how these two terms have an e to the 3x in common. They have a common factor of e to the 3x. So if we pull out that e to the 3x as a common factor, on the inside of the parentheses, we're left over with 2x over x squared minus 5 for our first term. And in our second term, we'll have 3 times the natural log of x squared minus 5 left over. And this is our final answer because it cannot be simplified any further. So I hope this gave you a better idea on how to take the derivative using the product rule. Once again, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions, so if you need any, any extra help, check out the link in the screen or go to my website, mathmeeting.com. If you want to keep on learning, check out my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.